Senator Hubert Lawrence, who turned 42 on Monday. He did? Yes, he I did. I thought he was 52. <laughs> he did. So I, I just go ahead with the draw for lanes of lane two. Hicham Clear of Morocco in lane one. Diego Venancio of Brazil in lane two. Kamge Gaba of Germany in lane three. Will and Louis of Barbados in lane four. Theorin Sushi of Romania in lane five. Jonathan Fortenberry of the USA in lane six. Ryan Therian of Canada in lane seven. And in lane eight, Shane Morrison of the Republic of South Africa. But the USA head uh, through Fortenberry should be the big candidate here, although Barbados has got a good candidate in Will and Louis. I think that the uh, Barbadians well represented here, and I'm expecting a good performance from uh, William Louis. Uh, of course, as you mentioned, Fortenberry, the United States, must be the man to beat in this first semifinal, a second semifinal rather, of the men's 400. And one thing is going to be happening here is that we are going to see a very fast time returned in this race of the second semifinal. And uh, uh, semifinal in lane six. Uh, Jonathan Fortenberry, the fastest man in the field at 45.67. The U.S. number two, Willan Louis, the Caribbean number two, second at the CSE Juniors in Barbados. Good talent, Willan Louis. Clean start the first time. Second semi boys, 400 meters, too short to advance. This is the second of three semifinals. Willan Louis running nice and tall in the back straight away. Long striding, Jonathan Fortenberry in the center of your screen. Uh, third from the left, moving nicely. So too Willan Louis, those two going best in the back straight away. Third from the left, the American Fortenberry. And uh, emerging right side to your screen. In the blue on the goal of Barbados, Willan Louis. Louis closes the stag on Fortenberry. On the outside is the South African Morrison. Will and Louis, uh, second at the CSC Juniors, has run 45.91 at 400 meters. Turns in the straight, they're looking comfortable. Looks across at their long legged American Fortenberry. Fortenberry storms up, and uh, as he hurries forward, Louis eases down. They run together across the finish line 46.17. Fortenberry over Louis, close racing. Well, it's obvious that Fortenberry is the better of the two athletes at this stage in their careers. Uh, Louis ran a very, very well-judged race around the back straight. He had the American to guide him and to, to use him as uh, the judge as he went down the back straight. And once he came off that 200 turn, uh, Louis took uh, on the American on the outside lane, looked around, realized he was out there, had a good lead over him. The American charged back for all he was worth. He was putting a lot of work into it, Bobby, as we watch on the replay here, to get back on terms with Louis. At that time, Louis decided to shut things down. He did just that and allowed the American to go on to victory here. And again, he's saying he'll be back. Yes, I think uh, Louis certainly must have earned the respect of Fortenberry in that event because he had to dig deep in the final 100 meters to catch the Barbadian Will and Louis. Uh, let's look at the replay once again as they come down the straightaway. Uh, Louis Barbados out there. And as we open up, you will see Fortenberry to the, well, it's still Louis you're focusing on. And then Fortenberry to the outside, there he is 839 coming into your picture and running out a winner of the semifinal 3-2 of the men's 400.